I bet if we put our heads together, we could come up with something stellar. What's up, everyone? Happy New Year. We're kicking off 2023 with another round of astrology shots for January of 2023. So the first thing on our agenda is we need to talk about Venus. And Venus is going to be moving into Aquarius on January 2nd. She is going to be moving pretty fast. Venus, our love planet, Venus also rules money, finances, values, is going to be kind of moving pretty fast through this fixed air sign and will only be staying here until January 26th when she enters Pisces. So we've got just like 24 days of Venus and Aquarius. And here's why we care about Venus and Aquarius. Well, first of all, on the 1st of January, Venus is going to be making a very intimate conjunction with Pluto. Now, this is serious. This is really, really serious. And we've been working with some more serious themes lately. I know that that last new moon with that Chiron station might have brought up a lot of stuff for you. We know that Venus and Mercury are sort of revisiting this sensitive terrain where Venus stationed retrograde last year in a conjunction with Pluto. Lots of financial themes, lots of intimacy and relationship themes coming up for us last year. And that point remains a little bit sensitive. So we may be revisiting some of those things at this time. So Venus conjunct Pluto is like, you know, no holds barred. Let's talk about it. Let's get to the root of the issue. Let's excavate it. Let's bring it out into the open. Let's talk about it. Let's have some deep talks about difficult things. And it may even bring us a little bit closer together, which is one of the beautiful, um, like transcendental, I want to say, sides of Pluto is by doing the dirty work, we get the Ah, the relief and the elevation from it. So we, we, you got to go down to go up with Pluto. <laughs> so we have that energy sort of coming in at, on like New Year's Eve, basically, and taking us into that first of the year. So there are some more intense, a little bit more serious, more intimate relationship themes coming in at that time. Also some serious talks about money around that time. But what's cool is that we go from this like serious, intense, we need to address this to, hey, like this breezy Venus and Aquarius transit that comes in in the evening of the 2nd of January. So Venus and Aquarius, back back to why we should care about Venus and, and Aquarius. And more so, you know, what are the ways, what are the ways that this transit can offer us? What are the things that this transit can offer us on a collective and personal level? Well, one thing I love about Venus in any air sign is that, you know, Venus is a relationship planet and air is a social element focused on the exchange of ideas. So Aquarius is a sign where 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 Venus gets in Aquarius, it's like, you know, we're 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 having a lot of dialogue, but it's less personal and it's more about something. In other words, Venus in Aquarius is wonderful for group collaboration. Venus in Aquarius is excellent for planning your world takeover, for coming up with your million dollar idea, for coming up with um you know, your, your group endeavor that you want to do together, uh, some kind of project that you want to collaborate on. Venus in Aquarius is really great for soundboarding your friends. And, um, Venus in Aquarius is also just awesome because it's a highly friendly, sociable placement without getting too deep. So you're able to kind of stay elevated. Air is an element that draws us upward. And um, so this is this is a really great one for sort of breathing some fresh air into our social life, so to speak. So this is a good one to gather, gather around. We don't need to get too serious. We don't we don't need to like go too deep like we've been doing that. This is the time of just let's kick it. Let's brainstorm a little bit. And let's let's talk about ideas. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about, you know, what excites us. So this is this is really great for like collaborative planning and and yeah, and connecting in in a fun and friendly way without getting too bogged down in the in the 
messiness of emotions, which are awesome in relationships too. Like you need that emotional connection, but Venus and Aquarius is not as focused on that. So let's have some fun with Venus and Aquarius. And we'll be talking a little bit more about her as, as the month goes on. But for right now, that's your astrology shot of the day. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your inbox, subscribe to my mailing list where you'll be the first to know when my books reopen in April when I return from maternity leave. I may not be as active on here in February and March as we welcome baby Aquarius into our family, but you can also follow along with me on all platforms at Catherine.